All right, and we're on to day two of Alaska trip. Did you have fun whale watching yesterday? Whale watching was incredible. So today, we come to you live from Bird Creek, just outside Grudewood, Alaska. Um, up there in the mountains, behind the clouds. Down yonder, just on the other side of that bridge, is Turnigan Arm, the ocean, essentially. So today we are going to go get in a helicopter. We're going to go up to the top of that mountain that you can't see behind us. And we're going to go dog sledding up on a glacier. And then, who knows what else, we'll try and do some... It's supposed to be sunny this afternoon, so we might go on a nice little scenic hike too, so... More adventures for day two. Hey guys! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> Captain, Captain, what's your name? Elena. Captain Elena. <laughs> All right, let's go. Awesome. Have you guys been in a helicopter before? No, no, this is our first time. Beautiful. Well, you're in for a treat. This is a really cool first helicopter flight. We've got about a seven-minute flight up to uh, Punchbowl Glacier. Just around the corner there. So once the helicopter is ready to go, we'll uh, take off and head that way. It's a really smooth day out there. A little cloudy. Um, I find the clouds to be nice because it just keeps you from getting sunburnt on the glacier. That is a nice feature. Yes. Hon, how's your audio? You good? good? You good? Ready to go? Couple beeps here. And we're ready for liftoff. Third with traffic. Helicopter 03 Golf picking up off the east ramp, departing to the northeast. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day today. Where are you guys from? Michigan. Michigan? That's a far way. <laughs> first time in Alaska? My second, her first. My first, yep. All right. Have you been to Girdwood before? Yeah, I stayed at, uh, we went skiing in February, so I stayed at the hotel. Good skiing, huh? Yeah, we went cat skiing. Actually, over here, I think it, is it Punchbowl where they do the? Yeah, Punchbowl yeah. Glacier is where we're going to dog camp. I think that's where, I, I think it was this valley that we cat skied in here. That's so neat. That's really cool. I didn't even know they did that. <laughs> Great, well, uh, Punchbowl Glacier just around the corner here. It looks like the clouds have cleared up a little bit over top. Oh man. So hopefully you did put a little bit of sunscreen on, okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> Curve of traffic, helicopter 03 Golf, Two Mile Hill, eastbound Winter Creek, climbing out of 1100. So Punchbowl Glacier, if you look ahead, there's a big U in the mountain there. Yeah. Um, that's what we're headed straight for. About another five minutes or so, we'll be right over top of it. Uh, dog camp will be kind of tucked on the right hand side. Kind of perched on top of the glacier where it's nice and flat. This is Winter Creek underneath us. Beautiful hike and trail. If you haven't uh, explored back here yet, I highly recommend it. Um, a couple weeks ago, it was all snow, so it's finally accessible. There's lots of bears and stuff back there, though. So take bear spray. Take bear spray. Take a buddy. Yeah. Play some music or something, and uh, enjoy it. It's beautiful. You can't walk the whole trail yet. 
it's around the corner here and goes towards Berry Pass and it's still snowy up there, but you can get pretty far out. Nice. Lots of waterfalls and stuff starting to form on the sides of the mountains. No melt. Very pretty. You good back there? I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Wow. Awesome. Having a good time? Super cool. And you got all these little waterfalls. They're gonna get bigger and bigger. Oh yeah. There's a good one there. Yeah. They're cool. Some starting to get on this side of the mountain too. This is like the uh, side of the mountain that gets less sun. So there's still a lot of snow left there oh. in the chutes. Gurkha traffic, helicopter 03 Golf. Elbow Winter Creek, 2,400 eastbound for Punch Bowl. So you can see Winter Creek kind of wraps around this little mountain and goes that way. We'll call dog camp, let them know we're coming in. Helicopter 03 Golf to uh, dog camp, coming in over uh, past two, landing two minutes. I was worried we we're gonna, weren't going to have any sun, but this does not seem to be a problem anymore. It's going to be hot up here. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Um, I don't know if the ladies up there or at the front desk told you, but there's little tiny baby puppies out here. Oh, they told me. We, we heard. Fresh little babies. They're so cute. They, they are so cute. They did a full pre-flight puppy, puppy briefing. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll chew on your fingers, so watch out for that. We are dog people and we are looking forward to it. Aww. Yeah, the puppy bites. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything you see at dog camp, we brought up here with the helicopters, whether it was on a sling line or just in the back, like the dogs we put in little cages in the back seat. All of their houses we slung up un underneath the helicopter. Wow. Snow machine, all of it. So when you bring the dogs up there at the cabin with a like a handler or? No, we just put them in like a, like a, like a kennel kind of. And we just flew them up in like loads. Nice. There's 36 of them, so it took a lot, a lot, a lot of flying. Uh, when we get down on the ground, the mushers will come over and they're going to direct you on where to go. Awesome. That was an awesome flight. Yeah, so Super cool. smooth and absolutely gorgeous. If you guys want on the way back, you're welcome to, to switch seats or keep the same configuration. It doesn't it doesn't actually matter, whatever you want. You should try up front, hunt. It is okay. cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be in a helicopter again for a while, so might as well <laughs> do it while we're here. Yeah. Oh, look at all the pups. Um, take your time getting out too. Yeah, we, we're in no rush. Yeah, the snow's kind of deep, so easy to trip on. All right, you can unbuckle your seatbelts and hang your headsets up. And I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? Thanks, Captain. Awesome. Super, super, yeah. super yeah, it was awesome. Amazing, yeah, that's great. Uh, we're gonna wait for some more guests to come up. Okay. Yeah, Bitey little pups. Hi. Puppy bites. Hi. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yeah. Definitely teething. That's Definitely all right. Chew everything you've got. That's okay. Ah! Oh, you're vocal. You oh, have your yeah. little voice? Spicy, spicy little bunch. He's my favorite. Which one? The black one. The black one's your favorite? Yeah, he's super cute. Oh, yeah, His ears are cute too, how they bend forward. Yeah. He's the boy. Yeah. Earlier, when they were fired, I seen that. Like, Hi, girls. Like gloves. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Come nice and close so you can hear me over the dogs. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> These are the sleds we'll be taking out on the trail. Um, I'm Julie. This is Brandon. I guess. We'll be your two guides out on the trail. And we'll be standing right here in the middle, managing most of the steering and braking, so you don't need to be concerned about this area here. <laughs> Welcome to Alaska, you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Ain't it? Oh my god. You're on a glacier in a temperate rainforest. Straight out in front of you, you're looking at the Chugach Mountain Range, which I think over recently I just heard that there's 122 peaks inside it. Okay. We're on about 60 feet of snowpack, and then below it is that blue ice that you see on glaciers. And we got eight dog team pulling us right now. Where are you folks visiting from? Michigan. Michigan, meet, meet. Cool beans. We have two folks from South Africa that work here. Oh, very that cool. Came from Michigan. That worked out there for 12 years, up in uh, Boynton or something. It's got some weird name. Harbor Springs or Boyne City or? Probably Boyne. Boyne, yeah. It sounds made up. Lake Charlevoix. <laughs> Sounds made up when they tell me it. All those northern Michigan towns are named after something French because of the French explorers. You know, okay. they named they named everything. They kind of did that up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming as well with the Tetons. Yeah. And, yeah. I love Jackson, man. Damn, that's where me and Julie came from. Nice. We do this out there in the winter time. Not a bad gig. No, not at all. Great views, the outside, and you know what I'm saying, if you love what you're doing, it's not work, right? That's right, man. <laughs> so first time dog sledding? Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. First time in a helicopter? Yeah. yeah. Exciting. Yeah, we're checking a lot of boxes today. Nice. Yeah, so right now I'm taking you to the toe of the glacier, which is the end of the glacier. We'll get to the toe, and then we'll stop, let you hang out, take some photos, take in the views. Sweet. And then we'll take off, and I'll take you up to the bowl where everything kind of starts and then gets pushed out this way. Cool. I could definitely see becoming real addicted to this sport. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> you get into it. There's a few panels in Michigan. They're sprint racing though. They do short yep. distance. Yep. yep. Yeah, there is that one of the UP. It's the copper or something or other, Top I think. Racing. Yeah. Yep. All right, up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Whoa! Neat, let me set the brakes going in land. Mm -hmm. And then, you are welcome to hop off on the, let's do the right side, because okay. we're more than likely to go left. Okay. I don't want you to get tangled up, but do you guys want to meet the dogs? <laughs> sure. Sweet. So, today we're running an eight dog team. That means this section will always be the first two dogs next to the sled is wheel. These guys you want kind of like big boys like him or high ener energetic dogs like Kuna here. You're welcome to pet them both. Kuna can be a little shy, so approach her slowly. Okay. Toke's a friendly guy. He's big. What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's up, girl? Oh, yeah, you're a big guy. Hi. Hi, Kuna. Good girl. Up in front of them, this section's called team. And we got Blitzen and we got Reed. 
You're welcome to pet them both. They're very easy, friendly and sweet. Blitzen's a great sled dog name. Right, and she got a sister named Dancer. Yeah. And a few other ones named after the reindeer. I mean, you'd have to, it makes sense. That's <laughs> and then Swing, we have Candy. And next to her is Amelia. You're welcome to pet them both. I'll introduce you to my leads, but if they back off, just back okay. off as well. But this is Rousey. Next to her is Adamar. They're both very sweet. They're just very timid and yeah. shy. So did these two always lead? Yeah, in this in this pen. Yeah. Like these this combination and they, yes. These are their spots. Yeah. But throughout the season, I'm gonna try to mess around and switch some around. So like Candy has the potential because both of her sisters can be lead dogs and their mother is a really good lead dog. Yeah. And that dog Toke back there, along with the other two, Reed and um, Blitzen, they come from a different kennel, so I'm not really like familiar with those guys. Right. But my goal is to try to try a toke up and lead. Cool. I know it kind of probably seems odd because he's like the biggest of the bunch. Yeah. You can see like a big dog up and lead and everybody else small. But he seems very intelligent, so I want to give him a shot. Cool. But yeah, these are our guys. <laughs> toke. Hey, let's go, Dad. <laughs> well, yeah, these guys do the long distance racing. Okay. Yeah, compared to like the sprint racing kennels there in Michigan, those yeah. guys will do like 20, 30 mile long races, but they'll go about 20 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah, these long distance racing dogs, we only like to peak them at about nine miles an hour. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing? And that's because we're trying to pace them for that whole thousand mile long race, right? Thousand, so yeah. how long does that take? The thousand mile yeah. long race? So Mitch Seavey, who owns these four dogs in front of us, and a lot of the dogs there and a lot of dogs back there, he set the record and did it in eight days and four hours. Nobody else has been able to get close to that. Oh, so that seems... Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. I don't think anybody's going to beat that, at least in my lifetime. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But a lot of people, the average is 11 to 13 days. Oh, he like really blew them out of the water. Yeah, he really blew them out of water. That's what I'm saying. I don't think yeah, anybody that's... will do it in my lifetime. Well, he probably had some good weather then. Yeah, that's yeah. what I imagine. And then uh, there's some other crazy guys. Like there was a man named Brent Sass who just took first place in the Iditarod this year. Up until that, he was like destroying all the competitions in every other race, like taking first place. So that's pretty wild too. Wow. Uh, the CVs is a well-known name in the racing community, though, because uh, Mitch has a few sons, quite a few, two of which that kind of followed in his footsteps and started racing. Danny doesn't race no more, which is also like another guy who runs his company with Mitch, and that's his son. But there's a son named Dallas CV who's won it three or four times, which is really unheard of as well. Nobody really kind of wins it like yes. back to back. They only like win it once and then like another time right before they retire. Yeah. Um, but, which is pretty neat. Very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, he's ready. And then I'm sure you were asking about avalanches earlier, right? Yeah. Those giant lines that are like the shelves where yep. it's like already broken and all that's going to slide at some point. You can see remains of little slides that have happened yeah. over the course of time. It's got to be cool to just sit out here kind of over time and watch it just disappear. Can, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my favorite spot's right here where I was telling you where the pools start to open up. That's yeah. Cool. There's normally like light trickling water happening. Oh. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Julie was saying you guys alternate like five days yeah. at a time. Yeah. Five days at a time, five on, two off. Um, sometimes it's four on, two off, and if we're lucky, like, we're supposed to, Friday's supposed to be our day off, but uh -huh. luckily we were just told, like, tomorrow at the end of the day we could fly off, so we gain, like, a, ha like a quarter of the day, yeah. you know, but so, nice. like, it adds up, like, we get down, we could go get dinner, yeah. it's kind of like an average, like, normal job where, like, you get off, you know, and then you yeah, still you have the actually, end of the night. Like, have an evening. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty neat. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's the it's the coolest job I've ever done. I said, it sounds pretty yeah. It's hard to beat. You're right. It and would be piece. hard. You'd have to try really hard to beat it. Yeah, that's my problem too. Is like, I feel like I peaked. Or like, <laughs> I need to find something else extreme to do. I don't know what to do next. Yeah. So I keep coming back. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. It's a pretty good office. Mm -hmm. Well, do you guys want to ride some more? Do sure. You hang out here. We can hang out here for a little bit longer. We can I'm head on. Down to ride. I want to ride right. because yeah. the airflow. It's yeah, yeah it's, it's warm out here. On the back again. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And they didn't take off. But if I do ask the Yeah, do one foot and then bring the other over. Okay.
But we shouldn't have to. It's going to be a, a lot more uphill from here on out. Okay. And then a gradual downhill. Okay. I'm going to just wait. Let me get for the signal. And I'm going to take off. And then... Hey! <laughs> you ready, Lauren? Ready, Lauren? Yes, sir. Alright, uh, Lauren or Lane, whoever wants to, yell the word all right really loud. All right! Nice. That's our word to get them going. G is right, ha is left. Whoa, whoa, whoa is kind of the command you yell out when you're trying to slow them down and <laughs> stop them. They don't understand it, but we try to do that so that way maybe someday some of them pick up on it. <laughs> Group learning. <laughs> yep. Yesterday, me, Grace, and the manager back there, and the other kid, Calvin, who left, went up there, and you can kind of see where it's the light brown on the side of the rocks. Yeah. We pushed this boulder that probably weighed like 80 of us oh. together <laughs> off the side. It was so neat. Yeah, I would. I, working up here for me would be an issue. I would have all kinds of fuckery going on that would just yeah. like on the down days, you know, just. Yep. <laughs> Yesterday was one of those down days where we were weathered in because yeah, of clouds. Yeah, yeah, the whole day actually. We didn't run a single tour yesterday. Oh my gosh. Yeah. On a normal day, how many people? Six tours and a max amount of nine guests per tour. Oh. Yep. So normally it's just like back to back to back to back. Uh, we do have a rare occasion where, like today, this tour, they only have one helicopter supposedly to fly up yet, so it seems kind of like downtime, like yeah. dragging on things. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'd be up. It, it was so cool. Because it slides down and then there's like this one little lift and it smacks it and launches it in the air. <laughs> and it like different pieces as it like launches into the air. <laughs> and then, did you guys see the turn again arm at, at all? Did you come in from Anchorage? We did, yeah. So that whole like uh, ocean side that you're driving next to okay. the good one, yeah. that's called a turnigan arm. Okay. And there's a uh, thing called the board tide, so like when the tide goes down, all that water kind of leaves that area. Yeah. Did you? Cool. So when we hiked up on top of that little hump there, we could see that board tide come into the turnigan arm. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so then if you guys go down and then want to watch it again, you can walk take the tram up to the top of the valley. That's, that's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing after yeah. this, yep. Awesome. Have you done any hikes here in Girdwood yet? No. No? Sweet. Quick, like, five-minute drive from Alpine Air here in Girdwood. You search uh, Virgin Creek Falls. You'll drive there. I'll take you to it. And then you got, like, maybe a five-minute hike with a gradual incline that has, like, stairs built in. Virgin Creek? Yeah. It's okay. It's like a beautiful waterfall. Oh. It's, like, super clear water, and it's, like, oh, blue, awesome. too. You guys will enjoy it. So definitely check that out if you get the chance. We are gonna, de we are definitely gonna do that. Are you staying in Girdwood? Anchorage. Okay. Cool, cool. Did you get shuttled in or drive in? Uh, we rented a car while we're. Okay. Yeah, so we have that that Turo app. It's like yeah. Airbnb for your car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, the, the, dude, the rental cars were like 350 bucks a day. I got a Toyota Land Cruiser for 150 oh, off nice. that. <laughs> like, That's yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. So I take it then, probably going to the brewery in town? That's, yeah. Uh, straight forward. One second, let me make sure they make it past this thing. Straight forward. Thing. Sometimes we can start like, no, we're going back. <laughs> um, so I don't drink, but if you guys are looking to drink hard, like everybody's like beer, you know, so they're always going to the breweries, at least the tours. We, we went and checked there. out at least the parking lot this morning. Yeah. I'm okay. like, oh man, if that was sunny, that looks like a pretty good spot to. They have really good food trucks still. There's one that's like a ramen. Here. I haven't had that one. I say wait for that one. I'm more like the greasy, yeah, like good stuff. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, so if that one's there, normally there's another one there too. That's kind of like okay. an American Mexican kind of food joint. If it's that Blue Rista one, they got some good like.
gosh. Yeah, Betty's technically Betty Boop. Mm -hmm. but she goes by Betty. This one's coming home with me. Good luck with that. Is this a girl? That's a girl. So yeah, so the two girls, they don't race, so we can't jump. They do race, but not with in the main game. So that's like teenage boys. They can't have to strong. Understood. Yeah. Because you're just so pretty. Yeah, you distract the boys. Maybe that distraction. Oh my gosh. Really pretty view coming over this uh, pass here. Girdwood traffic, helicopter 03 Golf, descending out of Punchbowl Glacier towards Winter Creek, 3,300. Wow, that is awesome. A little windier down here since you guys took off this morning. Now you might feel some little bumps and such. Just the wind hitting the helicopter. Girdwood traffic, helicopter 03 Golf, Elbow, Winter Creek, inbound to land, Girdwood. Girdwood, Howard, Park, one Florida, the Northeast, descending at a 3,200. the turning an arm here in just a second. Tide's gone down quite a bit. Like the prettiest final approach path to an airport. Oh man. <laughs> no kidding. That's the old cliche, that probably never gets old. I love it. Every time. Not a bad way to spend a Wednesday. Definitely not. <laughs> probably one of the best ways to spend a Wednesday ever. <laughs>
Girdwood, helicopter 03 golf turning final, runway 20, landing east ramp. LA 519er, to the northeast, 1000, descending, so it'll be number two, direct to the east ramp. I tried to move my head for No, you. no, no, you're <laughs> flying the helicopter. You're doing great. Don't worry about me. All right, for my friend Jake, who was here with me last time, we didn't get to go in the helicopter. Here's what you were missing, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> well, there's always another chance, right? You guys can come back. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, be I back. think we will. Do the P-dub. Look at that river right at the airport. Oh, my God. The P-dub's the best tour. Prince William Sound. Oh, cool. 30 minutes up on the glacier, Colony Glacier. It's beautiful. That is so cool. Yeah, your Alaska tram. That restaurant just opened back up there, I think. The Seven Glaciers or whatever it's called? Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice view, beautiful view. Yeah. All right, so when we get on the ground, they'll come over and help you out. Thank you guys for coming. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. That, that was, was awesome. That was an awesome. All right. So it's pretty hard to say anything more than that video did, doing the dog sledding and taking the helicopter up to the top of the mountain. But if you can imagine. This is just one scenic turn off away from Girdwood. Pretty ridiculous. So we'll end the YouTube episode there. Good way to send it out. Bye bye.